Hello and welcome. Welcome Math 10C learners. I see you are looking for some information on how to get around in your Math 10C course. And I'm going to take that as a great sign of your commitment. And let's even say excitement in doing this course and getting those juicy Math 10C credits. So in this short video, I'm going to show you how to find your schedule and course outline and talk about that a little bit. Uh, access those really great lessons that you, we've got waiting for you and complete, uh, successfully complete, the homework associated with each lesson. So first, your schedule and course outline. So here I am on our main course page hosted in our LMS, which you have obviously already found. If I click in here, uh, my schedule and course outline. Now, my schedule is not going to appear because I don't have a schedule here. But if I did, I would see a link that would show me what dates I need to finish all of the lessons and assignments and exams by and if you don't have one that is only means that you haven't made one yet and to make one you've got to meet with your instructor okay so you will have one there once you meet meet with your instructor um, and that's explained later in in your uh, orientation um, and uh, and have that produced okay what you will find in here is a course outline so if you click on that, uh, you can have a look at this. Talk about how you're going to be uh, assessed in this course, how things are weighted. So you can see that the course has seven units, also known as chapters. Okay, so um, each uh, those seven units are split into three sections. So we have section one with uh, the first two chapters, and then section two with the next three, and then section three. Now each of those sections has an exam at the end, uh, that covers every, both both or all three of the chapters and that exam is going to be worth 25%. So those are 25% each, we're up to 75% and to get the rest of your mark it's going to be 25% for assignments. Now uh, there's going to be one or two of those per unit and we'll discuss those in another video. Uh, so you could take a look over here as well, talk about um, exams and uh, student engagement. Now, I'm going to speak very br uh, quickly about student engagement and that is that this is like uh, asynchronous meaning you access everything like uh, independent of uh, time and space whenever whenever works for you uh, but we do have uh, expectations of you as an RTD Academy student and that is that you are going to regularly engage with the learning content and uh, keep in touch with your instructor and maintain a continual uh, presence in in the course. Now, continual presence is uh, purposely not defined, uh, but this means that we would expect to see you logging in at least every couple of days. Okay, if you are going to be away for any uh, extended period of time for any reason, or you're focusing on other things for like longer than a week, then we'd ask that you message your instructor and just to, to explain your situation and say when you when you'll be back in actively engaging in the course. So now I, I mentioned how the course is divided into three sections and I am missing a heading here I noticed there should be a section one up here but as you can see three sections uh, each with those le uh, chapters and then there's a review and then an exam at the end. So we're going to talk about uh, the exams and writing those exams um, at, at, in, an, in another video. However, for now, just note that you're going to have to do three exams and those exams are the only things we need to coordinate with you on in, 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 in that you will need to write those in a scheduled exam block. And again, more information on that to come. So let's talk about getting to those lessons. I could click on Chapter 1, Roots and Powers, and note that there is a workbook uh, PDF and a formula sheet up here. So let's take a look at those. So the workbook, I'm going to click on that. Uh, PDF of all of the notes and examples. And this is kind of like a follow along uh, uh, booklet that you can use as you go through, uh, the, you can go through the lesson. Um, some students use it on a tablet or something and write on it, or you could print it off. It's not all that short at 48 pages um, and it's not essential okay but I'm going to show you how this lines up with what's in the actual lesson but first there's also a formula sheet so let me click on that one uh, your math 10c formula sheet and this one I am going to ask you to print off 
uh, at the beginning, like right now, uh, as soon as you're done here, uh, print this off and have it accessible as you go through the course and as you do um, coursework and you do your uh, section exams. Now, I say that, but it's obviously going to tie in more to some um, of the units than others, uh, particularly, say, when we get to measurement here. And, uh, well, this whole page, front page, is on the measurement unit, but there's stuff here that's going to be applicable with exponent rules in your uh, first unit as well. So that's your formula sheet. Um, and like I said, it's, this is great to have accessible, a paper copy as you do the course. So now I'm going to go back over here and let's work our way down. Now, uh, for chapter one, it says grade nine review. Now I'm going to just very quickly uh, dis uh, discuss what this is. And what it is is practice. It's like a grade nine sort of like summary and actually more like grade eight and nine sort of summary exam. So if you click on here and you start it, it's just going to be um, some questions. Okay, so various questions like here's integers. 6 minus negative 8 and you could just put your answer in there okay so there's also videos to support you if you're stuck on anything so if I click on that video link it's gonna be explaining okay well how do you how do you do a sort of similar question with integers uh, there's a written example okay again sort of like showing you just how this is going to work and uh, so you can access either of those and you could put your answer in and if you're with me on saying the answer is 14 uh, that's great and you can see that I, I could check my answer key if I got it wrong and you know uh, there's also like a neat little functionality that I might as well get into right now and that is this get a similar question feature now if I use this notice that all of a sudden now it's a new question it's but it's the same it's new but the same right it's just different numbers but it's a uh, similar um, kind of process to it so you could sit here and you could try this question or essentially any question throughout the entire course uh, by using that get a similar question. And you can just try it again. And um, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking this is obviously 15, so I could put that in there and I could submit it and I could see I got that one right too. That feels good to get two right. And then I could look at the general solution for my specific version of the question here. Um, so moving on, and there's another one here with integers, and check it out again. And this is what we take great pride in in our course, is that we uh, built up a lot of supporting resources in the actual homework. Uh, that is, like, there's lots of videos, those written examples. And if you're still, if, the, if those don't help or there's no video or written example, you can click on this message instructor, and it's going to take exactly what... Uh, question you're working on so you can see what that is and just you can select your teacher's name here so um, uh, my name is Mark Lambert so if you're uh, in Math 10C you, you may be my student and if you click on there to say hey uh, Mr. Lambert can I get some help on this question really not sure what's going on and or can, you know I did this and can you can you give me some feedback or something like that and then I you know send your message and I'll get back to you and I'm going to talk a little bit more about messaging in another video as well but there's a little spoiler for you on uh, messaging uh, your teacher and getting learning support now I'm going to close that and I'm going to leave the grade nine review and again this is practice and if you're thinking that these are really easy well yeah some of them are pretty easy this is like probably grade seven actually um, my junior high curriculum knowledge being a little bit rusty but that's probably grade seven stuff so you can you know how much time you spend there is going to be up to you all right so otherwise that's not required i'm going to close out of there but this is required and that is that you do the lessons i'm going to click on 1.1 click on this first one and I'm going to press start. So listen, 1.1, and I'm going to press start, and then just kind of arrow along here. And okay, so this is the way the kind of e-learning in the course is laid out. And you see, you're going to have some notes, and concepts, and then like these embedded videos. So if I click on this video link, and you know, I could press play here, and I could enlarge this, and that's going Hello, to explain. Welcome to RTD Math Academy. My name is Gina. That's my friend Gina who helped uh, make make all these videos. So uh, that's going to explain what's going on on that page or with a particular example or something like that. So you have to watch. These, these little video links are to be found everywhere and you have to kind of watch out for those. And you can see that it's covering what's on this page. Uh, you have like examples and you can click on a window here, a little button that's going to show um, what, the, what the solution is. And then I could participate down here uh, by list, listing the factors of 12. So I could do uh, this and then I could submit it. And notice I got 0.83, I got partial credit because obviously I did miss one, didn't I? I missed that factor 12, but I could just list those 
um, with a comma and then I can get feedback and now I can go in and, and I can fix it let's see if I fix it there you go no problem now I'm good to go and I could also do that get a similar question here and now I'm asked to get factors of 18 so you know you could, again once again you can just kind of practice the skill over and over again so now I'm gonna move on to the next one and now, now, the, now this particular page right just has an example right and then a solution example and a solution no video here and your participation for this page is just to say yes I, I am good to go I've added these notes and I can click on yes and you could be giving some thought right now to maybe how you're going to take uh, take a look at this course like how are you going to engage with this learning content are you going to make notes in a, in a notebook a lot of students like that they find value in that or are you maybe going to print off the workbook and kind of like just work off of here that's that's up to you but you know you're encouraged to kind of like keep everything organized and 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 and, and keep a flow of everything so that you can reference back as you need when you're doing doing the homework I think taking a set of notes is an awesome idea for all students so moving on to uh, the next one question three notice I've got another embedded video I'm not gonna play that one but that's gonna explain what's going on on this page and then there's a question did you review the above material I should click yes there and then I could submit it it's kinda like this is this is sort of doing my homework already here this is part of the process then I move to the next one I've got another video okay and then I could say yeah I've done oh this one's got a different question I'm gonna click on the prime numbers I'll leave that one for you looks like fun and uh, then question five okay continuing through the lesson now it says question that kinda means like slide or page did I do this yes good to go I can see my solutions there and then oh one more this is a bit of a longer lesson I'm gonna click ahead and then notice that on uh, question seven it changes to homework so now I'm just doing homework here so I'm just gonna I could put my answers in here like list the uh, uh, first six multiples so I could put you know 8 and 16 and 24 and I could I'm just gonna hit enter and uh, didn't do a very good job on that one Notice I can get a similar question here as well it's gonna change and change them all uh, when I submit and I jump to the answer the answer key will appear here and I could check on everything and if it's got a detailed solution that will appear as well I'm not sure that this one does and in fact some of the homework in this first one doesn't really show off a lot of the features for the homework so I'm gonna jump out of here uh, I'm gonna leave this one and I'm gonna go to so I think I'm gonna jump to lesson 1.5 uh, mixed and entire radicals the homework and it says write this radical in simplest form now if I click here um, we've got some math type functionality here so I'm not gonna really focus on what the particular answer is here we'll get to that notice there's another video link there I can click on that and get support for a similar type of question to this but I'm gonna uh, just instead show you that you know you can do fractions and square roots and things like that here I can do exponents or something like uh, x squared you know there's pi so you get a lot of math tools you can write out any equation it's a small learning curve with this but you really get the hang of it as you do the homework because you just enter it and then if you get it wrong you know this is submit a part you can just redo it okay so you can just redo it and practice it until you get it right now I'm going to show you actually another homework assignment with some more cool functionality so I'm going to jump out of here and I'm going to go to uh, way ahead to chapter 4 which is in section 2 and we'll look at graphing lines because you can actually graph lines in here so I'm gonna press start and I'm gonna kinda really quickly go through the notes in the lesson because you kinda get the idea there so I'm gonna keep going and then with this one it says graph a line that has you know this x-intercept and this y-intercept so the x-intercept is 3 0 I could just plot there and then the y-intercept is 0 negative 2 I could plot there and there you go I've got I've got my my line so I could submit that and there you go it's gonna mark it for me and this is like we, we have these in our assignments and our tests as well so now if I get a similar question right I can get it now it's got uh, slightly different you know x intercepts negative 3 0 y intercept is 0 3 I could just try it again and later on like in this course because this is kind of like some neat functionality we can graph parabolas is it going to let me do a parabola here there it is if we can graph parabolas or circles later on that has absolutely nothing to do with this question so I could clear it and then I could click on the line tool here that's it or almost it for uh, accessing your lesson 
Uh, one more thing, one last thing before we move on is your grade book. So if you click on your grade book, uh, now I was kind of, uh, you can see that it, what I started, I've already got some marks in here, not, not bad, 8.3% on the first lesson. So this is going to fill out with your, uh, you know, results as you go through and do all the lessons and, and the assignments and the exam. So that's all going to fill out. Now, I'm going to kind of point out down here that uh, the homework gets graded and it will be graded and you need to get a 70 to open up your next homework assignment, but it actually isn't weighted. It's worth 0%. Of your mark so that's just for practice uh, what is actually for marks is your assignments and your exams and you know that will be covered as well in in a in a different video so that's it for me here thanks for your attention and you are done and if you are doing the calm course and are looking for the code for completion congratulations on making it to the end uh, the completion code that shows that you have done this is done D-O-N-E. So you can enter that code and call it a day for this part of your COM assignment. Thanks.